to the most exciting Moody Mare Diaries yet. A lot to live up to now that I've said that. I know. I'm so This is a very 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 exciting vlog well we're making two we've decided so this is my first ever event and joanna's first ever 90 well first ever be first ever 90 mm -hmm. be um so we're going to split it into two because we were our event vlogs last ages like they're like 40 minutes long so we thought doing both yeah that would be one, like an hour and a half so or much. something it'd be good to put it into one vlog for you guys but um but yeah we'll split it into two more to um, watch i know um so yeah we're here at hopeton house over i'm so excited over now in brussels about an hour and a bit away from us and um we're away to walk the course it's friday night joanna's is tomorrow and mine's is on sunday yes so this one is obviously my vlog and we will be walking the 90 momentarily ah it's so cool to be back here there's the show jumping warm-up and they've got all the 90s the 90 show jumping set up just now uh which we might walk later on um saves the job in the morning doesn't it there's a bit of a breeze, unfortunately, because of a hurricane in Florida, I think. There is so, so much wind this weekend. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ, as you can see. So, yeah, not sure how that's going to go. It's meant to be up in the 40 mile per hour gust tomorrow. So that's a wee bit sad. Oh, we hate the wind. Like, you just need to get on with it sometimes. Better than it absolutely, like, bucketing down, I guess. So... I don't think it's actually kicked in for either of us yet, how like nerve wracking this is. I guess as soon as you see the warm up jumps you start feeling a little bit sick. I know, we just need to start walking it and see what all the jumps are like really. Um, but oh god, we were just saying how nice it is here though, like this whole setup is so nice. The dressage is so far away from everything, the show jumping's nice and like big, as in like the arena for it. And the cross country warm up's really nice as well big area for that. So this tree is indicating how windy it is. It's been plucked from its root <laughs> for the start box but um, yeah me and Claire get to share jump one so I am buzzing for that. Ah! It's like I'm doing an 80. That gives me confidence. So jump number one. This makes me so happy. So so happy. It's like I'm doing the 80. Number two makes me happy because the two on either side of it makes it look so much smaller because they are chunky. Oh, I'm so sorry if you can't hear me because it is so windy up here. Um, but this is jump number three and it is the first of the actual big two fences. Oh, God. Okay, so we've came from a, my big chunky fence, which is scary, to this one which seems nicer, it's just a log. Yeah, oh God, that's so much nicer than the last one. Oh, why did the chunky one have to be number three? But yeah, first combination. Sorry about the wind, by the way. And yeah, it's very similar to the 80, just a little bit bigger. Yeah, I'm not too bothered about these ones. Okay, so number five. Um, Still a fairly chunky fence, but nowhere near as big as that number three was. So again, feeling fairly confident about it, I think. Okay, so another shared fence, which is quite unusual, I think, for, for only at jump number six. So we've had three shares, which is really good for my first 90. <laughs> okay, so jump number seven after the big, big hill. And thankfully it flattens up out here. So. Hopefully they can catch their breath for a minute and then get over this one. At least it's not uphill because she's good. Right, here we are at the second combination. Um, yeah, I am feeling actually surprisingly okay, I think. It just kind of like mimics the 80, doesn't it? But just like a wee bit bigger. God, I really hope she's got the confidence because I'm going to really try and ride her into them. I think we should be okay as long as she establishes her confidence like early on before number three maybe then we should be okay part b Hear me, 
got number 10. It's a really nice jump. <laughs> okay, 11A. And then that's a bit downhill, so I quite like that. That gives you your impulse and back. Um, finds the height of that. I think, which I don't didn't have to do last year. That's a bit different. Number twelve is just another bigger eighty. It's fine. It's been a bit it's not too big. And then thirteen isn't very far. And it's a decent height length, but because it's not wide, I'm not too worried about that. It's a bit skinnier than usual, but it'll do. Okay, so number 14. A little bit big. Oh, oh god. Don't really like the plants under it. I feel we've maybe jumped that kind of height before though. So should be alright. And then the ground's a little bit wonky here. And then on to the B element. sense. I can't believe that that's me almost finished walking my first 90. Um, I'm so glad I picked this one by the way. I had a big debate about whether pick, I should pick this one or Forg and Denny and I was worried about the hills but actually the course is really really nice and yeah no I'm actually quite happy with it. There's don't get me wrong there's a couple of fences that I'm really nervous for um, but as far as 90s go I'm okay with it. Okay and this is 16A, which is actually quite nice compared to a few of them that we've seen. Okay, and the B part is fine. Oh, do you want to... Ah, okay, I'm really excited at the fact that um, I actually get to jump the bigger version because I've jumped that wee one a few times now. Um, so, oh my god, this one's shared with 100, um, which is really big. And it is really big. But if we've gotten over the other two that I find huge, then we should be okay by the last fence, like surely. Oh goodness gracious. Ah! Chonky like. Okay, so we've came over to the show jumping to walk my course for tomorrow. Gives us a slight No, I wasn't. <laughs> Claire was sticking her bum out, that was weird. I've saved you people. Um, but yeah, we came over to walk the course because that gives us a little bit more reliant tomorrow morning by like 10 minutes. <laughs> um, but yeah, number one is Top Stocks Jump and that is our favourite brand ever for stocks. So good luck charm, but it's off my bad rain. So I'm not happy about that, but you know, can't have it all. And number two is a spread. It's funny, this is kind of like what we would consider to be 80 but they're just always so down in height this will be giving you so much confidence for your show jumping eh? yeah oh nemesis we're not that keen on gates here oh claire you batter that jump showed it what's what <laughs> your hair looks scary <laughs> okay so number four is Fairly tight turn, you just need to use your corners and then yeah, just a wee chunky oxer as well. That one's a wee bit bigger, that's more like 85. <laughs> Very specific. No, actually like that is like definitely 80 centimetres. Yeah, like, I put money oh, on it. These two are surely they're not in it. They are, they're number 10 A and B. Oh no! They are, do you want there's a number at it, so it is. No way. Yeah. But the second one doesn't have it. That's because it's a combination. They don't God. Have that. Number five's had a traumatic life, but Claire feels like she can actually jump it. I need to get a good run up. You'll um, pull your back out again. Pull your back out, put your back out. <laughs> I had images of you falling over it there. <laughs> jump like Belle. <laughs> Okay, so number six. 
another wee gate to freak us out. That's a bit more up to height as well. It's weird how it's got the smaller part after it, eh? I prefer the ox are second. Yeah. I know. Usually an ox is coming out. Yeah. Number seven. They're loving their oxers here, aren't they? Yeah. Loads of them. Maybe in the 90s we've just not noticed that they do have their oxers. Maybe. And then eight. Nine. And then right round to nine. I'm pretty sure that's the last fence. Because like there's a wee finish thing there. there. Yeah. yeah, I think they've accidentally put a... I don't know, why is it numbered though? Maybe they are doing a hundred tomorrow too and the hundred's just a, like, a similar course but... But with the ten, there. yeah, maybe. There's only nine jumps here. Yeah. So that's me just back at the yard after me and Claire's course walk at Hopeton. Um, we got back about eight o'clock and I still had to pleat Blondie up, so... Hence the lack of videos because if I was videoing constantly I think I'd be here till like 11pm and we certainly don't want that when we, I think we're up at like 6am um, but yeah I've actually managed to go quite quickly um, she's looking good and she's enjoying her late night munchies she's got her a peony pad on just giving her back a wee pre-eventing massage massage? well she's just kind of heating it up but she loves it, she absolutely loves it, and it definitely um, soothes all her muscles and everything, just keeps her feeling good. Um, pleats out of 10 today, I would say maybe a 7. Um, the ones at the front are actually quite nice, and her forelock is looking really good just now, nice and tight. Um, but these parts, oh, they're just so scraggly, but that's my fault for giving her a nice neck over winter. Why am I so kind? Mm, Blondie? You're really going downtown, aren't you? You really are. Is it just me or is that the best noise in the world? <laughs> is that nice? So right now, um, my thoughts for tomorrow are, hmm, okay, so dressage. Um, I do hope she does a fairly nice test because she's been going amazing at home. Um, although it's nice to know that she does go amazing at home, so if she's tense or whatever, um, unfortunately that's just something you need to get through on the day. Horses can be whatever they're like on the day, can't they? Um, but hopefully she does like a fairly nice test. Um, will be a little bit aggravating if she's like totally wired, but these things happen. Um, and we've got a new bit and bridle combo as well, which is a bit risky, but fingers crossed. She's been going well now at home, as I've said, so yeah. Then for show jumping, um, I've got my Pelham to jump in. I've only jumped in it once before, but it went quite well. Um, and I think I would like a little bit more control going around the corners and stuff, because sometimes we do a little bit of battle racing, I'd say. <laughs> so um, yeah, I think I would like to have my Pelham. But Claire said that she will have my other bridle at hand so that if things go a bit funky in the warm up and I'm not liking it, then we'll do a quick changeover. Um, show jumping, like, I don't know, it's weird. Show jumping still makes me a little bit nervous. Um, just need to ride on and not think that she's just gonna go over everything, make sure that I definitely ride each jump um, because she can have a little look on occasion and you just never know when it's gonna happen. So yeah, ride through that and do my best with that. Oh my goodness. That face because she's just seen another horse going to bed. <laughs> Sloppy mouth. Who is that? Who is that? Yeah, and cross country, obviously our first 90. Um, that goes for show jumping too, obviously. But yeah, oh, I don't know. Um, just one and two, happy with because they're what I would have been doing for 80 anyway. Um, and then I'm just hoping that she is forward enough and feels good enough to get over three. And if we get over three, then, oh, I will be smiling so much. That'll be like just amazing. Absolutely amazing if we get over three. And then I think that'll really boost my confidence for the rest of the round because that is a bloody chunky jump. Um, 
it does terrify me. Um, sometimes I play it down course walking because I don't want to be that kind of person that's like, oh, this is petrifying. And then I don't want that to like um, rub off on Blondie. So like, I know she's capable. It's scary, it's big. I just need to ride up to it and really hope for the best. Really hope for the best. I feel like she really takes like confidence from me as well. Um, she can be so, so brave and bold on her own. Um, but on occasion, she definitely needs like checking and just a wee hand. So I'm gonna really, really make sure I try and do that tomorrow because obviously it's a lot more bigger. It's a lot more challenging than she's used to. Um, so yeah. Here goes nothing. Okay, so um, late night treats and then I am away home, okay? Rest tight. Get a good sleep, please. Good girl. This is so different for her. We've just had the roof changed and this place is so, so open and so, so bright. So, might not feel like night time. Good morning, people. Um, I don't know what I was dreaming about last night but I feel so nauseous this morning. Like, really, really scared. My eyes don't seem to be working yet. Um, oh God, where's my confidence from yesterday gone? Um, yeah, I'm really scared for jump number three. Um, I, I'm really worried that something happens and she gets a fright or I get a fright. Um, because the shine is going to need to be near perfect for her to get over it because it's really, really big. Um, it's quite early on in the course, so will we have like a rhythm? Will she have the confidence yet? I don't know. Oh, I mean, the good thing is, I'm pretty, pretty certain that one and two should be no bother. But then, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I mean, if you look at it positively, if we get over the, that, then that is like currently like my biggest earliest on fear, like really, really frightened for that. So if we get over that, then I'll be able to breathe and like actually enjoy myself. So um, that'd be good. I'm sad though because I was so excited yesterday and now like, oh, oh, I feel so nauseous. <laughs> I feel physically sick. Um, God, I need to get through the first two phases first as well. I need to actually see what happens in the dressage because with Blondie we, we never know what we're going to get, do we? <laughs> but yeah, um, that's me just about ready and we're about to head off to the yard. Um, just finished packing the last bits and pieces, see what Blondie looks like this morning, hopefully not to state, and then start heading. Good morning. Hello. Are you not greeting me? She seems to have fallen out with me. Oh, okay, I got a little head toss, that'll do. You ready for a little breakfast? Oh, I think so. I think so. All hitched up, but the wind seems to be picking up now. Um, yeah, the wind's meant to be a bit insane today. Yeah, um, yeah, it's certainly like at the stage where it's like in between going or not um, with how bad the wind is today. And it, it won't really um, benefit anything when we get there, but just need to go and give it a go and hope for the best. Um, I mean, if it was dangerous, it would have been called off. But yeah, I've driven in high winds before, but I think this is quite, quite intense. Okay, we're on our way, but we've had to stop for fuel. Um, maybe about an hour away now. Blondie's so funny when she's in a fuel station. <laughs> so that is us almost there. We're literally away to turn up. We've seen so many horse boxes. What? What's down funny? <laughs> Turn up for what? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so many horse boxes, so it's definitely going to be a busy one. Here. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. How are you feeling, Jojo? A little bit sick. Yeah, well, actually, the weather's definitely cleared up. I feel like this area in Scotland must just be like the sunniest place oh, because I know. yesterday I just... was lashing it down and it was sunny here, and now it was 
really windy and rainy and it's dead nice here. Oh yeah, I'm concerned about the wind still though. I, I feel my pulse. It's like... <laughs> That's because you can feel it. At least you've got one. Oh, I have no idea. At least I'm not dead. Oh, it's just as windy as we thought it was going to be. It's very windy. It's certainly not ideal and I'm really sorry if this vlog's difficult to watch for like the sound of the wind blowing I the background. I think because your hand's over it, it should, like, it should be okay. Who knows? It is about 40 mile per hour gusts. Yeah, it's um, But yeah, show jumping, that's us over, just double checking the course. Um, and seems fine, a wee bit twisty turny, but not too bad. Um, we jumped 90 show jumping before, so that's good. Um, and as we said yesterday, it's, it doesn't seem too intense at all or anything. Um, yeah. It's 8.30 and these two are already prioritising food over helping me. 5.30 and you don't even look good. What? You could have put makeup on if you were doing 5.30. Who's you pointed to that jump? Oh. Oh my God, I'm sorry if this is a bit crude, um, but I'm in the port loo. Um, I'm not doing anything, don't worry. But, oh my God, this thing is like fully shaking. Oh my God, that went. It's so, so bad, so bad. I actually feel like I'm going to fall over. Okay, so vlogging seems a little bit antsy today. She keeps shouting on all the other horses. It's so annoying, eh? When you take them off the trailer, you never know what they're going to be like. She does get a bit like that sometimes, for sure. Sometimes, and then other times she's like half asleep, though. It's really weird. So Cammy's trying to start her with some treats just now. And then we're going to get ready. Oh, a bit of sun coming out. Look at that coat. Pretty girl. Claudia, what was that about? Oh my god, we're actually getting blown away. This is atrocious. Oh, this is a little bit squint. Oh. Oh. It's such a windy day. Who knows how this is going to go. She actually looks tidy if you stand next to her there. Oh, how is she a way to jump number three on cross country? <laughs> this is really giving me a knock of confidence, I think, but at least she looks dressage Oh, little cutest bunny ever. My dressage is in 20 minutes and I'm on a mission now to get my hat tagged. I totally forgot. Um, oh, yeah. And it's all the way over the show jumping area to get your hat tagged. Like Blondie with Cammy and Claire. She's just walking around the dress as with Marina. Um, Arena? Well, the warm up. Um, whilst we go do this. But there's always something, isn't there? God, I really am feeling like I can't breathe. I just had to walk so, so far. And now I've got less than 15 minutes to warm up. Oh, this is a bit stressful. Oh, I feel sick again.
Okay, so dressage done, um, and I've had time. Oh, what's going on here? I've had time to have like a good think about it, and that um, there's definitely positives and negatives. Some parts she was like quite chill at, I think, and then other parts I was like, yeah, my arms were coming out of my sockets for trying to get her out of canter and stuff. So uh, a bit of a mix there. Um, me and Claire were discussing it. I think it's probably like just about on par with floors or a wee bit worse. Um, so we'll just see what the score is. Um, watching it back, I think the first half was fairly nice, um, but it wasn't like her to jog down the centre line. Like that's not like her. She's just being a bit silly at that point. Um, I think maybe because I was yanking her out of that canter, so she was a bit like, "Look at you." <laughs> but um, yeah, overall, I don't feel disappointed. Um, don't feel annoyed with that. Like, quite happy with like what we did. Um, she warmed up really nicely as well, and with this wind, like, I know that's a bit of an excuse, but like, she definitely had the option to really play up there and she didn't and nothing can be as bad as Ford and Denny was <laughs> this year so as long as we're better than that we're winning. <laughs> so it is show jumping time. Sayo! Um, Joanna's decided to ride in her pillow today just to see because we had a wee jump in it the other week, day at the yard and she was so good at jumping she had so much more control obviously so um yeah we're going to see how she goes today we're going to warm up we've got a wee extra spare bridle in the meantime if need to be but yeah fingers crossed as well I'm so excited I just love how she's stepping up a height so like it's just a bit more challenging isn't it it's a bit more exciting for me anyway maybe Joanne's in there So Joanna has just informed us that she is next, so we are going to go and take position because it's actually kind of a wee bit of a walk. So let me get off my arse. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Right positively. energy shot but she's not looking very energized. Oh yeah yeah. <laughs> um she's like I've done the show jump now why do I have to go do cross countries? Because you love it. it, it's your favourite yeah, part. It's so fun. She's got a wee flare strip on she always looks so cute with that yeah. eh proper wee event or grass. Right leg you up time. Let's do this. Okay. Yeah, Show everyone your birthday present first. to be quite far apart from each other because then they don't really get the hype of the jump in when they're doing dressage and things so yeah we are way ahead of that hill unfortunately <laughs> and I'm going to show Joanna's mum and dad where to stand to get a good video of her I don't even know if you can hear me the wind's that strong but here is the warm up the excited the fun part so I'm just way ahead of this absolutely massive hill Pray for me and my asthma. But 
but um, yeah, the fence is actually just at the top of this. So it's just basically fence, the last fence, and then there's a wee combination. And I think I can see the fence before that too. Um, so I'll just get that and just enjoy this. Oh no, I'm not even like a quarter of the way up it. It's starting to kill me already. Oh my legs. Oh. So just check it in. I have just clambered up that hill. And I mean clambered, right? Um, but oh my God, the view from up here is genuinely spectacular. It's beautiful. I can see the show jumping warm up. I can see the cross country warm up. I can see like some of the fences down at the bottom. And I'm up here beside the last fence. Um, and I can see a couple of combinations just before the last fence. So I've said Joanna's mum off the fence number three because Joanna's been with you over the big one. I don't wish she'll get one. Um, and Cammy's gone way over to the water. Oh, well, it's way over. So I think I've been quite lucky at getting this jump. Um, although it's a steep hill, it's not too long a walk. I've done the hard work now. I can just relax up here and make sure I don't forget to video. I know I've said it a million times, but you can actually see everything up here. Like, there's loads going on down there. I can see the show jumping warm up. I can see the cross country warm up. I can see Joanna. My zoom on my camera is actually unreal. Um, so yeah, she's going to be coming from over there, over, not that one, this one. Okay, I've not got the best view of that. Oh, oh here comes somebody. So this is the, oh, the steep hill that we are having to go up. And I'm really hoping Jade is fit enough for it because it is a steep one and it lasts quite a while. But there's no jumps on it, so it levels out until you have to do your first jump, so it's not so bad. Touch wood. Okay, I've lost her, but I know she's going in Starbucks, which is good. Oh my god, the view up here is unreal. I can see everything, not everything, but most things. I can see the horses like going to jump, like jump number two and stuff from over here. Pure miles. I love Scotland, it's so beautiful. I just had the absolute fear that I was like trying to video the warm up and she was probably like galloping about behind me and I was just missing it. So that's something I would probably do. But yeah, I'm going to go in shoot position. And Is Joanna going to the Starbucks? I actually can't go over this zoom.
She found the hill a lot easier too. Yeah, she's really oh my god. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm worried so much about that hill. I know. Oh my god. so good. I'm buzzing. I'm so happy for you. That's amazing. I know, but I was literally like holding my breath for you coming over that one there because I could see it. And I was like, if she comes over that in the next like 30 seconds of me, she's got over number three. And when you came around, I was like, oh my gosh, she's there. I'm so happy. She was so fast at the start. My minute mark was like. All right. Went past the B element, circled round, and oh, came over again. Oh, okay. The B element. Yeah. That's penalties, I think. No. You can't circle. No way. In, in between. I thought you in, could. No, only if it's the marked different number. So oh, in between like 11 hell? and 12, you can, but you can't between 11A and 11B. Serious? Yeah, I promise. Oh, see if I'm eliminated or something. No, you get the penalties, I think. Oh, that's well, so I annoying. Care. You went clear so, though. That's so fucking close. Honestly, oh. it's so fun. So which one did you have to circle at? Um, so see, at, once you come to the top of the hill, must uh -huh. be number eight. Yeah, eight and B, yeah. I just went over A and then just kept going straight and then I looked to the side of me and was like, oh, oh my God, no. there's a B element. Yeah, there was like a, do it was like a dog's leg. Like, at least I noticed tight. and didn't yeah, just yeah. keep going because then I would have been... No, no, yeah, you're fine. You just maybe get penalties for that, but who cares? Because oh, you know she went clear. And it yeah. comes, it says on your record as well, like what you got penalties for. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Little superstar, you look so cute with your curls. I've got a nice little set of you. Um, I didn't want to put on the drum because she just kept eating the grass, so yeah, she's got her feed there that she can reach, and she's got her hay net, and she's actually totally cooled out, which is really good. And we're ready to go and get something to eat. Oh my goodness, I look a bit, <laughs> a bit of a state. Um, I think the wind's actually starting to calm down a little bit, but um. You know what, the wind actually could have caused huge issues for us today. Um, with things blowing about everywhere. And yeah, it's so surreal that Blondie just like took me through my first 90 and her first 90, like with no real issues at all. Like what a clever little pony. Yeah, she had like every opportunity to um, be naughty if she wanted to. And she was just a wee angel, love her to pieces. Um, and I've had people coming up to me and stuff just like complimenting her and everything and yeah, just another shrink. <laughs> just totally puts a smile on your face like what a day, like maybe not perfect on paper but no, I've had an amazing day. Couldn't have asked for better really. We're in actual state. Why do we start off the day like all right and then it just ends up like this every time? But yeah, sure. I've got a cumin tool. Always cumin tool. Burger, cheeseburger with onions, and then just plain chips with loads of salt. And Claire's got her, um, what's it called? Like your favourite, but not my, favorite. Um, your usual. My, my, yeah, it's gonna be your usual, is what I say. Trip cheese and She didn't actually sauce. say that. I didn't say that, no. I think it's the actual Oh, color. it's starting to rain a bit. Yeah, Better eat my burger. I'm buying a She's been like proper good sport. Like, she's just been so chill, so so happy to be here. Enjoyed her massage pads. And you're just an angel, aren't you? You just are. We get you home. But not even one o'clock. Yeah. Which is crazy. But um, yeah, not even that long a day for her. She'll cozy under a rug because she's really really cold now. So we definitely just have to get home. Oh my days! It's so much quieter in the trailer. I feel like you guys might actually be able to hear me now. Um, but yes, sweetheart has had an amazing day. We both have, haven't we? I feel like you've really enjoyed it, Blondie, haven't you? You have, you've been a superstar. She definitely loved the cross country. Like she was just like fleeing. And I was like, wow, a <laughs> great couple of jumps. It was just amazing. You loved putting in the effort for the big ones, didn't you, Blonde? 
but yeah, definitely home time now. Let's get you there. Oh, my hair just got attached to her head collar. <gasps> so, Hopton, we will see you again tomorrow, and you guys can probably go watch Claire's vlog shortly. I know, there done might be a wee bit of you. overlap because it was kind of hard yeah. to do this, but um, yeah. But yes, I will give you all a big update when I get home, and yeah, tomorrow's your day. That's us home, and I officially have the coolest pony in the whole world. She's just amazing, aren't you, honey? Love her to pieces, and she's Palomino. Ten out of ten. I love this horse. You ready for tea? Oh, she does that when she's impatient. Her little flicky head toss. Such a sassy mare. Love you. Does anybody think that she wants to go out to her field now? Anybody? <laughs> so funny, I hardly ever close her door. <laughs> but she never goes anywhere. Hey, pretty girl, you ready? You ready to go see your friends? Oh, <gasps> cheeky. Did you fall out with me? And you just want to go see your pals now? Yes, I know. To be fair, she's been in, um, like, all last night. And that's her first night in since being let out um, for summer, full time. So, yeah, let's get her out. Definitely excited to see her friends. And probably to get a good roll. Yep, just making sure that the spot is perfect. There we go. for our post event recap sort of thing um I was just vlog editing there and realized that I hadn't actually done this but I quite like doing it a few days after because it gives you a chance to like think about what happened and everything and watch it back and yeah get a kind of better outlook on the whole day really so yeah it was obviously our first BE90 which is a huge deal like ah I can't I wouldn't have thought La this time last year that I would even be considering a 90 in the near future um but she's just been finding the 80s so easy that I really thought she was capable and I'm so so glad I did it so glad I done it I was on such a high after all that but yeah um the most worrying like biggest deal for us was to do the cross country and I was just really really concerned about giving her a fright and like losing her not losing her, like death, like losing her braveness, braveness. Like I didn't want to take her up to a jump and her to be like, oh my God, this is so much bigger than we've been doing. Like I can't do this. And then that would give me a fright. And yeah, I was just worried to like lose my brave little pony, but she just got braver. <laughs> like I can't even like, she's so bold. She just, nothing phases her. And every time I think like, oh, like what if it's a little bit too much? It just never seems to be. She's just so, so clever. Takes it all in her stride. Um, but yeah, that's kind of fast forwarding to the cross country, but I will start at dressage. And yeah, we got our score back and it was 41, which I realized I didn't actually say in the vlog. Um, I mean, it's, it's not great for a lot of people, but you know what, I wasn't really focused on the dressage, um, but I need to start focusing on the dressage because she's so class at like all the other phases. I really need to like get more confident going into the dressage arena because I just feel like I ride like a bag of bloody crap ties when I go and do dressage. That doesn't really make sense, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not very focused or anything when I do that. I feel like I'm just like expecting bad scores at this point so I'm just like ah oh, get it out of the way like just muddle through it and then get on to the fun stuff but no I need to get better at dressage. 
So yeah, a lot of dressage lessons coming up soon. That is what I want to focus on. And yeah, because she's so good at the rest of them. I like, we'd be doing really, really well if we got our dressage scores up. So yeah, need to get better at that. But um, you know, I for that day, I was so happy to just like get through it. And she'd done like an okay test. She wasn't like hugely feisty. She'd done worse before. So I was like, it's fine, fine. Uh, it didn't put me up or down. So that's always good. And then on to show jumping, I was really nervous to ride in my Pelham because I didn't know what she'd be like. And just before we went out into the ring, she kept getting the bit over her tongue. No, under her, her tongue over the bit. And I was like, clear, like, she's been really mouthy. Could you check her mouth? And we got it sorted. And then I had to, like, go on straight away. So that I felt a little bit nervous about that. And, um... But yeah, she she was amazing. She, she jumped a fairly neat round. Unfortunately, just came too close into the first part of a double, which was a spread. And usually she can get her like little feet out the way quick enough if, at the 80. But um, because they were just that little bit bigger, she just wasn't quick enough to, to lift them up. So yeah, we got an unlucky pole, but I was really, really happy with the show jumping, especially since it was our first 90 on grass. And yeah jumping on grass is not as fun as being on a surface because you always just feel a little bit more like out of control a wee bit more like slippy and blondie at corners can be so like barrel racy honestly it's just so yeah i was really really proud of her for that and that kind of like put me in good spirits for going cross country and cross country like can't like praise her enough i literally like there's not much i can even to say about it. it was just absolutely unreal incredible she's just the most amazing pony in the whole world like how many people can say that they're 13 two can fly around a 90 b cross country like with no issues whatsoever it's so disappointing that i accidentally i forgot that there was a b element at number eight eight I think it was. So I just kept going like straight and then I looked to my left and was like, oh my God. <laughs> so I had to circle around. But you can see from the video, she literally jumped it almost from trot strides because she was trotting around and then she got like two strides of canter in and then just popped it like it was nothing. Like, she she went clear. I, I was a bit silly. But um, I couldn't ask for more from her. Like, she literally... It was amazing. Like... Yeah, and I was saying to Claire that I didn't think that I'd be able to focus on my stopwatch, which was my birthday present, because I'd be so, like, nervous and, like, really needing to kick her on throughout the whole ride. But honestly, I just, like, sat there like a wee passenger, just loving life, because she was just having so much fun. Um, oh, and going through the water as well, she just, like, flew around that. Oh, she was just so, so good. Like... I don't even know what else I can say about her. It's just like the most amazing thing in the world. Like most importantly as well, like she was so comfortable at that height. Like she didn't seem like a little bit backwards. She didn't seem like to over jump them by a mile because they were giving her fright, like nothing. Like she was just so chill about it, but like she just loved it. <laughs> like, oh, she loves it. And I love it too now, which is unreal. Like I can't wait to be back in a start box because she just gives me the best feeling around the course. Um, but yeah, now Blair Athol BE90 horse trials is actually like in sight. Like I can actually do that. I can actually enter that now because every time I ride her, she just makes me more and more confident. So yeah, Blair has been my dream as a child. I think it's like everyone in Scotland's horsey dream because like the idea of riding through that water complex with the big crowds around is just so surreal. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Um, and Hopeton was kind of like my make or break whether I'd be able to possibly do that this year. Um, and yeah, it's obviously like a championship course and we don't know what will happen like at all. We don't even know if we'll maybe get eliminated before we even get to the cross country, but it is in sight. And... Yeah, Hopeton was definitely like a massive stepping stone for me and it all went amazing. Like on paper, maybe we didn't get um, top 10 or anything, but she, she was so, so good. Like, 
I will never stop saying that I cannot believe she's a 13-2 Welsh cob. <laughs> oh, she's so cool. I think that makes her even cooler, to be honest. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope it was as enjoyable to watch as it was to like ride and be there. And just that whole day was so amazing. Um, but yeah, plenty more fun vlogs to come. So keep watching, keep subscribed and stuff and comment and like if you enjoyed the video. We have got Claire's vlog coming up next. And yeah, that's so exciting because it was her first BEA too, which is incredible. Such a good weekend. It was so, so good. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody. Bye.